Iron Supporting Food Banks collects food and cash donations for needy families in Newham Borough and beyond. Please consider making a donation via their Just Giving page, the link for which you will find in the description section of this stream. Come on you Irons! Hello and welcome back to the West Ham Massive. Thanks for joining us. Um, please don't forget to drop a like on the stream if you like the video. Even if you think it's crap, drop a like on it anyway. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. You'll receive all the alerts as and when we add stuff to the channel. Um, tell your friends we're here. Drop our URL onto your social media page. It really does help. Um, and it doesn't cost you a penny. It takes a couple of moments. Helps grow the channel. So thanks for that. Right. Um... As I say, it, we're getting close to the the transfer window commencing uh, at the beginning of January. And I think it's fairly safe to say that we're probably going to need to do a little bit of business unless there's some huge upsurge in our performances in the interim. I don't know. I'll keep my fingers crossed. Um, but I, I've been sort of like having a little bit of a, a trawl around for little nuggets of information, little stories, little bits of content that I can kick out on the channel and keep you guys interested. Well. Um, this is this is an interesting one. Um, let's just share it. This is from West Ham Zone. Uh, I've actually got a couple of other resources, so I'll, you know it's not just this particular website that's that's hinted to it. But you might recognise this young man right here, Paul Pogba, formerly Manchester United, formerly Juventus, France World Cup winner, if you please, has been linked with. A turning up at West Ham. Now, for those of you that are not quite sure what Paul Pogba's been up to in the last however long, well, he's actually serving a doping ban at the moment. He got given, initially, I believe it was a four-year sentence that he was given from memory. It got reduced on appeal to 18 months. And as it stands at the moment, his ban will end at the beginning of 2025. He can actually start training with a club from January of 2025, and he can commence playing in March of 2025. And apparently, according to this piece, we are linked. Um, this is according to Tuto Juve, uh, uh, is the outlet that's quoted, that we are willing, along with Newcastle United, to, quote, take a risk on signing the midfielder at the conclusion of his 18-month ban. Um, there's another article here, and I'll, I'll put it up that you can. Again, I'm not, I'm not making this up. This is out there. If you look, it's there. I'm just reporting it to you, and and you might be thinking similar things to me, but I'll get into that in a minute. But just to sort of show you that this is not me making stories up. Uh, this one here again, West Ham United stance on signing Paul Pogba in the January transfer window, is the headline. And then there's this one here from Football Talk, which. Uh, Hang on. Hold on. Hold on. I've pressed the wrong button. There you go. Um. Anyway, doesn't matter. Um. I'll tell you, no, I will share it with you because, you know, well, why not? Um. This is this is streaming for you. What can you do? You press the wrong button. It all goes to shit. Um. Yeah, there you go. So West Ham United starts on signing Paul Bogger in the January transfer window. This is from the boot room. And then this one here is uh, Football Talk, West Ham lining up a gutsy free transfer for Paul Pogba. Is it gutsy? Uh, I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm really not sure about whether it's gutsy or, you know, there's a, there's a very thin dividing line between courage and stupidity for me. Um, and I wonder if this is veering a little bit into the stupidity. Look, he's a, he's a fantastic player in his prime. If you had prime Paul Pogba and plopped him in the middle of our midfield, would his dynamism... His uh, his mobility, his strength, his power, uh, all of those attributes that I believe he's got, would they be something that would add to our midfield in its current guise? The answer is yes. But the truth of the matter is, is he's not in his prime. And if he was in his prime, he wouldn't be coming to West Ham that are at the lower reaches of the Premier League table. Let's not kid ourselves. That's the first thing. Um, the second thing is, is if you actually look at his injury record, 
before he got the the doping ban, he actually his his injury record was starting to look a little bit shaky. I mean, I'm looking here on transfer market. Um, in fact, I'll share it with you guys if you want to have a little look as well. Um, just having a little look here. Too. I'll go full screen with that just by pressing this button here. Uh, make it a little bit easier for you to see. So look here. The last two league campaigns, 22-23 and 23-24, that he played for Juventus in Serie A, he's played, he's been in the squad, a total number of 12 squads. And he's pl he started eight matches. And his, his minutes that he's played across those matches total 160 minutes. So, forgive me, it, it would appear that on the face of it, his robustness, his reliability is now being called into question. And also, he's he's 31 years of age at the moment. And by the time he's able to play for a club, as I say, he won't be able to play for a club until March of 2025. By which time he turns 32 on the 15th of March. Now, again, as I mentioned on the video when there was the links about Leandro Trossard possibly coming to West Ham, and he will be 30 years of age by the time the January transfer window is active. This guy is going to be, by the time he would be available in March, which is when, as I say, the drugs ban ends, he will be 32 years of age. Again, we are trying to get the age profile down. And again, do we want, do we need to sign another injury prone player? We have done it many times through the years and we did it in the summer with Nicholas Fulkrug and... It's, that's that's gone horribly wrong for us. And yes, this might well be a, a free transfer. But do you honestly think he's going to come here? If he came to West Ham, do you honestly think that he wouldn't command some chunk of change? He's a four-time Serie A winner. He's a World Cup winner for his country. He was formerly, he was at one point in time, the most expensive player in the history of football. Just under £90 million sterling that he cost Manchester United when he went from... Juventus, what was it, five, six years ago? He's he's going to command a fair amount of money wherever he ends up. Um, would this be a good signing? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I would avoid this one like the plague. As I say, prime Paul Pogba, I think he's someone that his attributes, I think he's actually got in his prime. He had all of the tools, whether he used them was another matter. But he, you know, he's like I say, he's dynamic, he's strong, he's able to get around the pitch, he can go deep, he can he can go, you know, deep into the sort of like from from deep and travel with the ball, you know, and then get shots away and all the rest of it. So a very, very adept central midfielder and at one point in time, 90 million pound price tag was was probably their reflection in world football terms, I would say. But right now, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I'm, I'm just like, please don't let this be true. Do not let this be true. Do we need to, to beef up the midfield 100%? Is this the guy that, that is, is going to do it? No, no. His injury record just says to me, avoid, avoid, avoid. I would also have my doubts about whether his temperament, whether his his attitude, his mindsets would be something that would be really complimenting the, the other characters that are already in the changing rooms. But let me know what you think. That's that's the important thing. I mean, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that you guys will probably sort of like see what I can see and that this, uh, please let this, let this be a non-story. Um, but there might be some of you out there that might be able to put a case together that might be able to convince me to change my mind. You've got the comment section below. Please get stuck into it. But Paul Pogba for me, once upon a time, yes, but he would never have come to us in his prime. Let's not kid ourselves. He he wouldn't have done. That's that's simple as that. The only reason he could possibly look at us now is because by the time his drugs ban ends, he'll be 32 years of age. His body's falling to bits already. You can see that. You can go and look on Transfer Market and it's there. The evidence is staring you in the face. Just no, absolutely not. You know, we've had enough people that are over the age of 30 that are injury prone that we we've spent good money on and, and like I say he might not command a transfer fee but he would command an awful lot in terms of his salary and signing on bonuses and all that old nonsense so Paul Pogba for me as far as I'm concerned absolutely not 
avoid like the plague. But as I say, you've got a comment section below. Get stuck in. Let me know what you think. Please don't forget to drop a like on the stream before you disappear. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to give your support to the Iron Supporting Food Barracks charity. Come on, you Irons. Iron Supporting Food Banks collects food and cash donations for needy families in Newham Borough and beyond. Please consider making a donation via their Just Giving page, the link for which you will find in the description section of this stream. Come on you irons.